Hi besties! So my final exam result for my first year of university just came out. Actually, it came out last week but I was too scared to check it because I've gotten news that some of my friends didn't really do well and one of my friends actually failed biology and I don't think I did that much better. I go to the University of Melbourne and just like my previous results reaction video that I filmed last semester, I'll first be stating the subjects that I'm taking, then my prediction, and then my actual reaction to my results. So let's go. This semester, I took biology, animals and society, and human sciences. I also originally was taking chemistry too, but I dropped that subject or unit halfway through the semester, and here's why. After taking the Introduction to Chemistry unit last semester, I did really well, so I was offered to skip Chemistry 1 altogether and go straight to Chemistry 2. That the university is willing to waive the Chemistry 1 prerequisite for your enrollment in Chemistry 10004 in semester 2, 2022. So I took that offer, but it was a huge mistake on my part. Skipping an entire semester's worth of knowledge and going straight to Chemistry 2 meant that there were many gaps in my understanding of the subject. I found myself having 10 to 12 hour study days just for chemistry because I had to allocate so much time to learn the things that I had skipped and chemistry is already a subject that I struggled with. The amount of stress and effort that I was putting in for chemistry too was just not worth it especially since it's not a compulsory subject for me. So I dropped it. So quickly, here are how grades are calculated at the University of Melbourne. H1 is the highest grade you can get. It's kind of like a distinction or an A+. This is followed by H2A, H2B, H3, and so on. Ideally, I would love to get all H1s for every subject, but that's just really difficult at university and I'd just be happy with a H1 average. Last semester, I had an average of 86, so that means I have a little bit of a wiggle room for less than stellar results. Anything lower than H2A and it'll be really hard to pull my average back up, so hopefully that doesn't happen. So here's my prediction for my final exam. For biology, I think I did really badly for my final paper, so my prediction is I'll score a H2A or lower. The only reason why I could ever get a good mark like H2A for biology is because I did very well for the quizzes and assignments this semester, which is an improvement from last semester. I didn't do really well for the small tests and quizzes that we had throughout the semester. I didn't find the content difficult, but I struggled with the format of the final paper. So I didn't expect that the final exam would have so many calculations. So because this was an online exam, it was not only difficult to type the formulas and the workings, but one question would be split into several parts. So in a normal in-person exam with a piece of paper, I could just jot down and scribble down my working in one go. But because it was split to several parts, I had to keep splitting my working and that really got me confused and it kept breaking my train of thought as well. So yeah, I don't really have any high hopes for biology. Next, for animals in society, I think I'll get a H1, but I truly don't really know. I did really well for my assignments, but we aren't really taught how to answer exam questions in class. So I don't really know what the examiner wants, and the questions were very subjective as well, it's essay-based. I struggled a little bit with the essay questions because they require quite a lot of critical thinking. But I think I did okay. So I could either score really high or really low depending whether I wrote what the examiner wanted or not. Next, for human sciences, I have no idea what I'm going to score. We had a final essay, there was no exam paper. It was a 2000 word essay and I did vlog my experience writing it. I spent two weeks on this essay, so if I don't get a H1, I'll be very disappointed, but I won't be surprised because they just told us to write about a pandemic and include everything that we have learned in the past year. That's it. They didn't give us any guidelines on what to write, no tips, no guidance, nothing. So I don't know what I'm writing half of the time. <laughs> Up until the last day, I was still confused whether I wrote it correctly or not. So it's time to go and see my results. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Let's see. I can't find it. Wait, hold on. Okay. 
I'm gonna type in my username. <laughs> Guys, I'm so nervous. Hold on. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so here are my results. We're gonna save biology for last. My average is now 84. It has dropped a little bit, but it's still very, very good. I'm happy with that. For human sciences, I scored 83, which is a H1. I'm really happy about that, but uh, I did receive feedback for my final essay, so let's read that together. So here's what my lecturer said. Hi Faye, nice work on the essay that focused on the 1918 influenza outbreak. There are some good points made that touched upon the floor disciplinary perspective, some more than others. The introduction sets up the essay well, with a clear argument, however this seems to be lost at the end as the conclusion does not recap the argument. Okay, try to avoid, avoid overstructuring within paragraphs too. Okay, so she did give some constructive criticism, which is really helpful. I really appreciate that. So I think the confusion that I felt about my essay really reflected in my writing towards the end, which I completely understand. And I just need to avoid overstructuring my essay because I think I was trying so hard to kind of make my arguments clear that it kind of disrupted the flow of my essay. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind for next time. Let's go on to the next result. For animals and society, I scored 86, which is a H1 and a distinction. I'm really happy about that mark. I guess I just wrote what the examiner wanted. That's good. One thing that I want to improve on next semester is that because this is an easier subject compared to the others, I definitely put it on the back burner for quite some time, which meant that I had to cram during revision week, which is not a nice feeling. So I'm gonna not take advantage of that next semester and really put in equal priority for all subjects next time. And lastly, for biology, I scored 77, which is a H2A, second class honours. Honestly, did we not expect that? I think I'll be shocked if I got a H1. I guess my quiz and assignment marks really did help pull up my final exam marks for biology, which is really good. I did mention in my previous video that I want to improve on my results for my quizzes. And I did that this semester, which really saved my ass. Next year is all in-person classes, no more online classes or online exams. So that means that the calculation situation will get better, but that also means that exams and content will get 10 times harder. So I don't know how I'm going to navigate all that stress, but you guys are going to come along with me besties. Comment down below if you're satisfied or disappointed with your academic performance this year. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you all for 750,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Follow my TikTok and Instagram. Bye bye!